without any advice for your 99 self? For my 99 self? Yeah. I don't think my 99 self takes advice. Not from old guys. Actually, I like that answer. We wouldn't have done this if we'd been taking advice. Yeah, I have a different take on it. While I certainly agree we were completely skeptical of anyone from an older generation having any relevant insight for us, uh, I think about it more like uh, Neo in The Matrix. You have to give him advice, but it's just not exactly the advice he thinks it is. You know, you give him the advice he needs, um, just that push. If you told me that it was going to take 17 years to be where we are today, I don't know if I would have had the strength to stick it out. You know? Oh, yeah, totally. So yeah, I, I definitely could well, have used some, some misleading advice as a 21-year-old. I mean, we were, we were watching what other successful people were doing. I mean, that, I mean we, it's not like we were immune to, getting out, to being influenced by the outside. We were just observing and taking from it what we took from it, right? And it just, in other words, it was indirect, not direct advice. Like, you know, people would say, what's your exit strategy? And I never had an exit strategy. I don't think we ever had an exit strategy. I was never really thinking to an exit. I was only thinking about the process of building the company as opposed to some sort of end point. Well, even from before we formally incorporated, people were asking us what our exit was going to be. And it always struck me as funny. Um, this idea that every tech company has to plan to be sold or to give up on, on being an institution that outlives the founders. What we should give as advice wouldn't be so much to ourselves, but to somebody else who was in our position but didn't do it or did it the wrong way. I would say the advice is, it's totally possible. We can do this. I did. Looking back on it, there wasn't a step where we had to win the lottery in yeah. order to get here. This was totally possible. You just had to get and one customer. It was possible without yeah. the venture funding, right? We were able to do this. No, I mean, we had to, that was a time for learning for us. I mean, we wouldn't be here today if we had gone out and tried to take all outside advice. I mean, it would have been a short, quick death more than anything else. I don't know if you guys remember this. Matt wasn't there, but I think you guys were there. We were out, we were out at dinner, and some of your old debate friends, or people you knew from the debate community, showed up. And they asked what we were doing, and we said we'd started a software company. And they said, oh my god, you guys turned into a bunch of dot-commers. And, <laughs> and I thought, no, you've got us wrong. That's not at all what we're about. Right. But I, I didn't, I, I also recall not exactly wanting to explain it or even feeling that I could explain it to him. Like people's conception of how to start a company back then, I, it was pretty, pretty uniform. We were, we were at odds with what, I think, what, what most people did. I, mean, I think my favorite yeah. recollection from that time is Broadvision offered us cash to work with them on portal technology. And Bob said, absolutely not. We're going to work with this other platform because it's better technology and we can do more with it and we can deliver more value for our clients. And this is a time when we had no money. So anyone offering cash, like it just immediately struck me as, as uh, a bit reckless to turn it down. And, uh, and yet, you know, we always made these decisions based on the right longer term values. When did I know that we were doing something different? I have a slightly different story on that front. It was 2006, I got to go to the Gartner BPM Summit to see people see a web-based process design tool at a BPM show for the first time and watch them be not just like two people watching a demo in a booth, but watch like seven rows deep with their jaws on the floor. You know, that's when I knew that we were doing something different.